All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this will be one of my probably last <laughs> videos uh, because um, one of the few from this channel because I'm pretty sure a lot of left-wing YouTubers who have said anything wrong as far as they're concerned about the orange bastard who's about to be the president, uh, and I'm sure they'll be coming after us <laughs> because they don't like us, but that's fine. I'm sure our channels will get nuked. So this may be one of the last videos I may post in this channel, but let's get right to business. It's time for Black America to stand down. Why we as black people are done saving this damn country. So welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna just jump right into a topic that's, of course, weighing heavily on a bunch of people's hearts in this country. Um, so after another election where the majority of white and Latino voters turned out for authoritarianism, fascism, theocracy, uh, a lot of us are asking the same question you know, as before. You know, what, Why should black people keep sacrificing ourselves, our votes, for a system that consistently turns its back on us? So let's talk about the election results and, and what they represent. So let's break down just what happened. Uh, so the numbers don't lie. Uh, a majority of white voters, along with a significant number of Latinos, cast their votes for a candidate with a history of racism, authoritarianism, and a criminal behavior. He's a felon. Uh, so, I mean, this doesn't is this isn't just a policy difference that we're talking about here. It's it's choice between uh, a system that actively harms communities of color. And anyone who doesn't fit their narrow definition of a real American. But for black people, black Americans, you know, the results of this election are uh, a lot more disappointing. Uh, we've been betrayed, especially after generations of fighting to uphold, you know, democracy and democratic ideals, you know, in, in a system that rarely protects or honors our contributions for what we've done to save this country constantly. So black women, you know, the backbone of our democracy, I'm saying this to you now, it's time for you to stand down. As Trump said, stand back and stand by. Yeah, stand down. Black women stand down. Black women have been the backbone of this democratic movement in this history from jump. You know, they fought for everyone's rights, by marching, organizing, voting, and advocating. And who benefits from this? Often, it's the same groups who turn around and vote for the leaders who don't value us or our communities. You know, it's time for black women to stand. Stand down, ladies. Sit on your hands. Just stand down. We don't need you to keep putting yourselves on the front lines for people who won't stand up for you. Your, your loyalty has been repaid with indifference or worse active harm just actively trying to harm us especially black women so to my black sisters out there take a step back you've carried this weight for far too long your work is done don't do a damn thing else so black men i'm gonna talk to you brothers what you need to do is protect and uplift our communities because we're gonna need it to the black men out there our new role <clears throat> is really fucking clear. We need to f the focus needs to be on protecting our own families, our own communities, and especially our black women. Um, even if you're not with a black woman, you still need to be protecting them because they're going to need it. Um, so we know that we can't rely on this country to protect us in any way whatsoever. So we have to build our own strength and resilience from within. It's time to shift from fighting for a country that won't fight for us and put that energy into protecting and, up and uplifting each other. You know, fuck all this gang shit, all this BS, reds and blues and stuff and all this. Y'all gonna find out the hard way if you don't stick together what they're gonna do to us. Because they're gonna do it. There's no doubt about it. They're gonna do it. But we're gonna have to be ready to fight mentally and physically if necessary to protect ourselves because no one else is going to do it for us. They've proven that. They are not going to help us. So how are we redirecting our energy? So this isn't about hate. 
Because we don't hate. It's not, it's not us. We don't hate. It's about boundaries. It's about recognizing what our energy, talent, and resilience deserve to go into building up ourselves, not propping up a system that takes us for granted. I'm going to say that again. This isn't about hate. It's about boundaries. It's about recognizing that our energy, talent, and resilience deserve to go into building ourselves up, not to prop up a system that takes us for granted and hates us. Remember that. So if some of these communities want fascism and authoritarianism, then they're going to have to experience it without black people saving them from their own choices. You fucked around. Now you're going to find out. We can't help you. We're done carrying the weight of a broken system that continually places us at the fucking bottom so that we can keep holding it up while they walk on our backs. Screw that. We're done. I'm done. Sisters, don't do nothing. Leave them alone. So the big picture here is you know, focus on black empowerment. So we're going to talk about what it means moving forward. Instead of putting ourselves <clears throat> and our resources into saving a country that abandoned us, and I'm not saying abandons, abandoned us still, um, what we need to do is we need to put those resources and our efforts into black businesses, black schools, black organizations, and black futures. I'm not saying all white people and or Latinos are our enemies. We, we know that's not true. It's not. I'm not saying that all white people are bad. I'm not saying all Latinos are bad. I'm not saying all anybody's bad. We know that's not true. But it's undeniable that a significant portion of these groups has aligned themselves with racist and fascist ideologies. So we're putting our community first. If it ain't black, we ain't going to back it. Sorry. Uh, the future without black Americans as a safety net. So without black America fighting to uphold democracy, there are going to be consequences. Economic inequality will grow. Health care and education systems will break. Will break. Uh, and the safety net we've helped to maintain is going to erode. So to everyone who voted for this change, hey, good luck. You wanted this fascist authoritarianism theocratic system. Now you get to experience it without black people carrying the burden all the time for you fuckers. You know, rising costs, mm-hmm. Weakened social systems, absolutely. A uh, loss of basic freedoms and incomes, you damn right that's what's gonna happen. And we're done trying to save you motherfuckers from yourselves. We're done. We're not gonna do it anymore. So this is my message to black America. This isn't the end. It's a new beginning. We're moving forward by investing in ourselves and each other. Black America, hey, let's build the future we deserve without the weight of a country that takes us for granted. You know, so what I want you guys to do, if you know, see this video, please feel free and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And let's keep this conversation going black people, especially about what we are going to do for ourselves that no one else has ever done or will do for us. So share this if it resonates with you. You know, talk to other people of color who are going to be going through, we are going to be going through some shit. We are, and we're going to have to go through this together because the Latinos and white people do not have our backs. Obviously, they never have and they never will. So we need to stick together and fight for ourselves. Something I've been saying on this channel forever. I predicted this would happen. No one listened. Hopefully now you guys are listening. But don't let this happen to us. Fuck them because they said fuck us. But let's, let's do what we have to do for each other. So until next time, remember to stay focused on building your communities. Stay safe out there. We need to make sure we do everything FUBU for us, by us. Have a great day. Be safe out there. And welcome to fascism, America.